Welcome to the Easy Answer Podcast. I'm Brandy, plant-based chef. And I'm Von Anise, plant-based adjacent. On this podcast, we explore thought-provoking conversations around food and simple ways to stay healthy in this crazy world. Hey! <laughs> so on this episode of the Easy Answer Podcast, we're going to be talking about Libra's cocktails and mocktails and we're bringing back our resident mixologist to help make sure that you celebrate one of the better zodiac <laughs> oh better, better. <laughs> i guess everyone can guess that brandy's a libra and so that's why we're doing a whole libra thing cheers to the libras Woo. <laughs> We love Libras, except when they're off balance. All right. <laughs> they will drop you off. Massively and not calibrated. Mm-hmm. And extremely passionate. Like, <laughs> like extremely passionate. They say Libra women are like, this is something that I've read about Libra women, that they are very, like, like sex is like their number one. <laughs> like, they don't play when it comes to sex. You know, like, they're very sexual beings, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, like, yeah, we are very, ex- you know, expressing ourselves in that, in that way, I think is something. Because of love, fun. because sex is, you know, it's tied to love and Libras are all about love. They're in love with love. Yeah. So <laughs> that's why I go, you know. Yeah. So what's interesting is that I'm, I, I identify as a Libra and I'm also like on a cusp of Scorpio. So what's really interesting about that love thing for well, me is your birthday, that- Brandy, tell everyone. Are we really going to tell people my birthday? 1023. 1023. <laughs> yes. You guys could subscribe as a birthday present to our podcast. You could leave comments about the things that you want us to um, do next season. You can even purchase some stuff from our soon to launch merchandise store in yes. honor of <laughs> you know Brandy birthday birthday so, so um tell me more about libra's in love with love i've not noticed that about you that you're in love with love but i have noticed that you're very passionate i'm like a- you could have a debate about food and brandy goes in <laughs> about a vegetable you know Yes, I'm passionate. And so maybe I'm in love with the idea of like, maybe it doesn't necessarily have to be love of another human necessarily. Maybe it is like the love of of stuff. So maybe that's where that that um, trait shows up, at least for me. I, I really think in the love department, I'm a mix of Libra Scorpio because of my cusp, because of my placement of my birthday. So I don't know if I'm like, as Libra-y in that, in that love when it comes to people. And I also think it's my... Made up of words, Libra-y. Libra-y. <laughs> <laughs> and I also think I can sometimes be a little a little heady, like, logically. Like, oh, you know, love is, you know, I think about it very... Yeah, you're you know. very analytical. So I looked up some Libra female traits because we, we're women, all right? It's so never- personality traits, diplomatic, Libras are natural peacemakers and are experts at being tactful and diplomatic in their relationships and in groups. Fair. Libras have a strong sense of justice, idealistic. Libras always prefer to look on the bright side, social, clever, indecisive, non-confrontational, and the negative was self-pitying, hmm. you know? That's, so, a, that's a pretty solid summary. When it comes to being diplomatic, I think you are, except if someone puts cheese on broccoli, then there's no diplomacy in you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> egregious a misstep we, we, we can't let that slide all right you can't let you can't let cheese on broccoli slide no cheese whiz on broccoli i mean if it's what is it uh an aged cheddar it's no okay. cheddar gorgonzola something respectable we made okay. <laughs> but no cheese whiz no cheese whiz okay <laughs> i understand i understand i mean i 
one of my close friends from college, she was a Libra. And mm -hmm. I remember she was very diplomatic in how she dealt with me. Like, I'm a Pisces. Like, I can go, like, off the deep end. And she would, like, like she would call me Vonner. She's like, you need, to you need to bring it back. You need to bring it back. And, like, like, you know, like, I felt like she always knew the game of love way more than I did. Like, I remember one day, like, my ex-boyfriend in L.A. didn't call me for three days. And, like... I was like, oh my God, what am I going to do? Like, and I was spinning out of control. And she was just like, we, and she was in pharmacy school at the time. We cannot spin out of control just because a man did not call us. We are not at that level in our life right now. And I was like, okay, you're right. <laughs> so I felt like when it came to like how you really, like I would call her and I would say like, I met this guy, like, when should I have sex with him? She'd be like, not till three months. You know? <laughs> She said that before Steve Harvey said it, okay? She was like, not until three months. Like, you cannot do it. Like, I need her to tell. I was like, girl, I need an exact date. Because he's like, she would give me the date. Okay, when did you meet? When did, like, she would give me the lowdown, the date, and everything. And that's what I really appreciated about her so much. Because she just knew the game of love in the way that I didn't. You know? that's, that's an interesting point that you bring up only because, which is crazy, like before you I- You um, know the game of love, Brandy. You don't play. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really- <laughs> And I'm thinking about this from even when I was younger, like before I was sexually active, right? Like I would be giving out advice on like sex and people would be like, oh, how are you giving out sex no! advice? <laughs> I'm like, oh, I've read some books, you know, you know, I could just feel the vibes. It just was kind of an innate thing. So that is an interesting- um. I never attached that to like my yeah, Libra. We were, yeah. we were our whole adult life. So we met when we were like 18 in college. You know, our friendship lasted a very long time. We're not in contact now, but that's a whole other story. We'll get into that later. However, I always appreciate that time period and when I was friends with her for so long because I think that she taught me so much. Like people, you know, the, a reason, a season, or a purpose, you know? And I think that that friendship really helped me to be a, a better navigator, a navigator of how we work in relationships because I was a hot emotional mess. And that's what Libra women are great at. If you have a Libra woman friend, she could hook you up with the hookup. <laughs> 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 if you're a water sign like me, OMG, you just need a Libra girl in your life. All right. <laughs> Oh, I love that. We should we should start a side business, like run a Libra, like run a Libra girl. That's right. And now that's a perfect opportunity to bring our Libra girl mixed up in. Yes. in. <laughs> <laughs> hey Teresa, how you doing? Hey ladies, how are you? Good. Good. <laughs> so Libra you gang gang. Hey Brandy. Yay, fellow librarian. So when's your birthday? October 5th. It just passed. Oh, gee, did you do something fun? I had an amazing birthday this year. Like, amazing. I went <laughs> there to my concert in Radio you City. <laughs> you sure? Because there was an actual <laughs> real... I was, it was actually a real, actually, I did a real mixologist thing for my birthday this year, which is perfect uh, for this content. Um, one of my parties, because there were a few, don't judge me. Um was at this place uh, where we created potions. It's called the Cauldron. We created magical potions um, and it was super Halloween themed and the potions uh, were made obviously alcoholic potions and we created them together and we, we uh, graduated from wizard school oh, wow. in the process of making these magical potion cocktails. So it was a blast. <laughs> So would you have a drink for us now for us for the Libra, our our good Libra mixologist um drink for today? Yes, I have a few. Okay, so we'll we'll start with a mocktail. Um we I will. think a Shirley Temple is a good one. Yeah. And that's because it's cute. A Shirley Temple is just Sprite and grenadine with some maraschino cherries on top. Um so it's tell me what grenadine is, please. Grenadine is a syrup. It's like a cherry flavor syrup. I'm, okay. I'm not sure if I'm giving you the exact flavor, right? But that's kind of what it tastes like. You know, the syrup that comes in the maraschino cherry jar, it tastes yes. very much like that. And okay. the thing is, you can't use a lot of it because it is a syrup. So it has a sweetening agent to it, but it's almost like a cherry berry sort of flavor. Mm -hmm. And all you need is just a little bit. Turn it pink, put some good cherries on top. And it's a great drink. I used to drink that when I was a little girl 
because my mother was a bartender. So whenever I went to see her, she'd make me a Shirley Temple with a whole bunch of cherries in it. And I was just living my best life. That's so sweet. <laughs> Next, you have a drink for the people who drink. I'm the Shirley Temple girl. So <laughs> you have a drink for the people who drink. <laughs> well, it depends on what kind of drink is. So I'm going to say the drink for Brandy, I would suggest, would be a Cure Royale, which is champagne with... Um, Chambord, which is a raspberry liqueur. Mm -hmm. And it also, you just use just a little bit of the Chambord. It's like a light purple color and you garnish it with the lemon. So, you know, Libra's like luxury. We like pretty things. You know, we like delicate things. So obviously these drinks have bubbles. You know, they got that celebratory energy. It's really fun and they're pretty. And them. then for me, you know, the drinker drinkers, I would say. <laughs> the drinker drinkers, yeah. <laughs> the drink, the real drinkers, right? I would say um, a Cuba Libre, which is a rum and Coke garnished with lime. Mm -hmm. Now, why lime versus lemon? Yes. Because lime, I believe, gives you more flavor context. Like with the lemon, it's kind of tart. And I think that with a lime, it just, for anything with fresh lime in it, it, the lime is really pungent, like it really sticks out. I don't think lemon has the same property with alcohol so much, mm -hmm. but lime, it just has this sort of like that flavor, that zest it adds to the drink. It kind of gives it a little bit more tartness and kicks the flavor up a little bit. Lemon to me kind of mellows things out a little bit. So did you hear what we said about Libra woman? Everyone needs a Libra woman in their life because y'all are the resident relationship experts. Does that ring true about you? Do you know the game of love, Teresa? You know, I would say so. Yes, I think I'm okay. Right? I mean, I'm currently single, which is a, a good thing. Um, because one of the things you didn't say is that we're uh, serial, serial relationship people. So, yeah, so, so you go from one relationship to the next, to the next, because you just love love and people get swooned by your love of love. So you kind of don't take a break at all. <laughs> that could be a bad thing. But um, yeah. I think it's pretty true. When I was in high school, a lot of people asked me for advice so much that I, my first major in college was psychology. <laughs> I got out of that quick. I was like, listen, I'm not, no, I can't be mental and in my head and yours too. <laughs> too much. So they said Libras, did you hear what I said? So Libras are natural peacemakers and experts at being tactful and diplomatic in their relationships and in groups. Fair. Libras have a strong sense of justice and they're idealistic. So you can say all these qualities you have. I would say so. Um, on my show, on my, my, my radio show, we talk about social justice issues. So I'm always um, somewhere with a mic speaking for people who can't speak for themselves or talking about social justice issues. Uh, peace makes me happy. So a lot of times I'll carry the weight in a situation or I'll be the nice one in a situation just to make sure things go well. Um, yeah. I would say that I think I'm pretty diplomatic for the most part, unless I'm angry. You don't want to make a Libra angry. Yeah, no, I'm so like, much. I'm balanced Libra, but you kind of crazy. Yeah, don't make so angry. That's, that's so balance. So angry. That's imbalance. Angry is imbalance. You don't want to do that. I think because you think, oh, I was there were so many things I could have said that I didn't say. So when you piss me off and you take me there, I'm really gonna go there. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Pretty yeah. much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> sometimes you don't even know. They're like, if you, it's an interesting kind of, because you can go from like zero to a thousand. I think that at least I know when I've had those experiences, people like it, it kind of is a silencing experience mm -hmm. for people around you because they don't even understand what happened because they're so used to you being like the calm, like you say, peacemaker, diplomatic, everything's good, let's stay positive. And then when you have to get out the gate, it's like, like you really hurt them or something. I'm like, yeah, we I don't think I think with anger it it um it turns into hurt faster than other people. Mm -hmm. So because we love so much, everything is from the heart, like all the time. So that's why I said you don't really want to do that because chances are you gotta do a lot to piss off a Libra. Yes, like so like we we can deal with so much, but then when we get to that other side, it's like don't hurt me. I move by my heart. So I'm gonna hurt you back by accident. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's hurt people hurt people, you know. That's so. True. so I've noticed a negative quality about Libras. They said self pity, but I think that Libras, they're kind of vengeful. Like <laughs> you act up, like they will seek revenge. Can you say either of you, both of you, have to answer this? Mm -hmm. Can you say that you are a person who seeks revenge when you feel as if you have been hurt? 
Brandy's gonna go first because <laughs> we have to hear this. Okay. I have to take a drink for this one. <laughs> okay. Seek revenge. I don't know, but plot. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Come back for the perfect moment. Yeah, like it's because I think we're patient too. So that might that's another quality about Libras that I think is a bad. That makes it even more scary. It's premeditated <laughs> revenge. We don't have. It doesn't have to be immediate, right? No, <laughs> no. It's like maybe maybe it was five years ago. This guy from Bangladesh hacked my system. Like hacked me. All of my clients emails and websites and everything and literally i found some people on um the dark web to help me to identify this person's location i kind of had some covert conversations with him because he reached back out to me on facebook pretty much said that threatened me for not hiring him so he said that he he took down my system as like a job interview that's kind of what he tried to tell me and if i hired him he could protect me from others like him so that was the nonsense he told me but it was it was like a constant, he kept coming, 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 coming. And I literally to this day, like I mean, I found the FBI um cybercrime division that's hidden in the building <laughs> in New York. I won't say because I wasn't even supposed to know they were there. Um <laughs> like literally all this stuff. And I have a whole folder um for when the time is right, because I want to see it all go down. Um, for when I'm gonna send some people <laughs> over from Bangladesh and take them down like straight up like he think he I forgot about him he thinks all is good because you got to get them when they're not expecting it right because he got me when I wasn't expecting it so you gotta there it is. return it in kind so yeah so I guess vengeful might not be the thing but we don't <laughs> know you understand we like to level the playing field so if you come at us crazy then we just mm. respond in kind that's all Okay, Teresa. I mean, so that's a yes to Brandy. Okay, you see, she said she didn't see to travel across the world to see it. Okay. See, for me, it's more of a mental mind play. It's for it's more of a mental mind play for me. It's like I, you won't even know I'm upset. That's the thing. I'll just get very quiet. But when I get quiet, that's a problem because I'm super talkative. So if I get quiet, I'm kind of thinking like Brandy was thinking, like, how can I really do this? But I kill people with kindness. So I'm more of trying to get in your head when I'm angry as opposed to doing something direct. And, you know, that can last forever. You can just walk by and smell my perfume and you'll cringe. And I'll be like, hey. <laughs> OK. Yep. And it'll be one of those things to be like. What is she about to do? I don't know, man. She mad quiet. Like we should stay away from her. What happens to what happened to the other Libra traits of, you know, idealistic, non-confrontational, you know, always prefers to look on the bright side. When it comes to vengeance, all of that goes out the door. No, no. not really. I mean, it's I like think it's a layer, right? It's like a layer. <laughs> it's a thin veil, though. Yeah. Thin veil. <laughs> thin veil. Yeah. But idealistic, I think, I think actually. Um, looking on the bright, like we said, we're not going to let you know. Everything's going to be all smooth and creamy on the surface, but underneath, there's an eruption going on. <laughs> mm -hmm. See, I, I'm all about vibes. It's vibes for me. Now, the only time I've actually been, like when I get to that point, I remember one time I had um, someone who worked for me. I was told that they were slurring me on their social media. And I was like, oh, you're slurring your boss. Okay. So I made sure I was like away from where we worked and I asked, I was very kind about it. I kind of just like gave an opportunity for us to have a discussion why that was okay. And her response was real petty. And so that was like a whole like love and hip hop, go off in the taco shop type situation. Like I think I'm going to get back to Coke on the way out the door. Like it was dramatic, baby. Somebody should have filmed that because, but it, it, she took me there. But that was because, you know, it was like all in the moment. If, if I didn't have that opportunity to sit and talk with her, oh yeah, some checks would have came up inappropriate. You know, things things happen when you just sit on it for a minute. You bring up a good point because another thing with Libra is because of the diplomacy and because you're so fair, you know, um, and a peacekeeper and they, you know, they come out as, ex they seem like experts and tactful. They oftentimes get elevated you know, when they get a job, they get elevated to positions of management and they get elevated to, you know, and 
those are great, great qualities. But when you look younger than you actually are, or when you are a young black woman, like, it, have you found that sometimes it's hard for you? It's harder because like people think I'm so diplomatic, but you're like, no, I will check you when, you know, <laughs> you know, have you found that it sometimes can be not the best, you know, when you're dealing with people who work beneath you? Um, for me, I would say, I would say yes, because, you know, my time, like where I put my time, where I put my energy is very important and intentional for me. So I'm def definitely challenged often because I'm always nice. But for the most part, like I said, I'm very strategic. If I'm going to flex or if I'm going to do anything like that, best believe I covered all the bases before it happens so that I didn't consider the consequences of my actions already. So I'm going to be strategic about when I do it. That's right. That's that Libra being strategic and planning and plotting. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Some bullshit. That's how it works. <laughs> You're like, let me get ready because these people always try to play me out in these streets. So I need to make sure I'm ready. All right. Mm -hmm. So they say that Libras are about family and about Venus you know, and about love. And we kind of glazed over the love thing. But can you say in your life that do you find yourself getting bored in relationships quickly in male female relationships or female female relationships? Like how you deal with your friends or how you deal in life? Have you find, you find yourself getting bored quickly? I do need entertainment, but I, I'm not sure if that's not necessarily a Libra trait. Maybe you can confirm that, Brandy, but I need entertainment. <laughs> like, I need I need, I need energy. Like if it's, if it gets dead real quick, you won't yeah. hear from me. Yeah, I, for me, yeah, I, I need to be stimulated. I don't necessarily know what that, what that, how like the form that stimulation comes right. in. But if there's no form of stimulation, I I do get bored quickly. I think that also, and I don't know if the 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 Libras are creative, um, mm -hmm. and I'm a creative, right? So ten Libras tend to be creative. So I don't know if that yeah. has a lot to do with like how you're always you're being the Libra kind, <laughs> like looking for something to like kind of dig into because it just bullet. I love research. If I wasn't a creative and I was somebody who just wanted to like sit in a room and like learn, that is so fun to me. But I think it's because it allows me to constantly like be doing something and learning something mm -hmm. new and you know, exploring mm -hmm. things. Um, but yeah, so I think stimulation without it, it I'm going to be bored. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you got to have something to offer. Have you ever dated another Libra? <laughs> Baby, my first love was a Libra. And let me tell you, was, um, we're still friends, but yeah, that was not a good thing. That was not a good thing. Libra men are different though. Libra men and Libra women, they different. I think, I think men? they just, it's like they got all the goods but they don't necessarily use them for the right reasons. They're more of the, so in my experience, they're more of the manipulators because of those loving things. They use them for their advantage. A little less like peace for everyone, more peace for me type thing. Real sun mm -hmm. energy, like the me story, the main character energy all the time. Yeah. Um, as opposed to I think women, Libra women have more of like a balance like we like things to every everybody shines. You shine, I shine, we shine. Mm -hmm. I feel like with the males, it's like me, 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 all the time. He's, and it's he's like, a Libra. Uh, he's a famous Libra man, so I could see that. You know, um, there's a few famous Libra men that. Will me, Smith, and Ryan okay. Reynolds, famous Libra men. Mm. Uh, Will Smith, Ti. Oh, Ti, yeah. Mm. Uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. me, 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 me. I mean, but they're in love with love. They're they are the men who will marry you, but that doesn't they'll marry and they'll marry relatively early in life, but that doesn't mean that they'll be faithful. Libras are known to be cheaters. Actually, the women more so than the men. I'm not trying to play <laughs> y'all. <laughs> no, 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 no. I disagree with that statement. I think it's the other way around for sure. Right. What do you think, Brandy? <laughs> Oh, you know, my, my, my thought process with monogamy in general is that it's a choice. I don't think we're naturally monogamous creatures. I think that we choose to be in a relationship with a person and we maintain that commitment. And so I think that, I don't know if that's a specific trait to a, like Libras cheat more. I don't know. I think people who don't want to commit to one person cheat more. 
this that's just I think it's good. because of the whole thing. Like I said, you get bored quick. I get it. No, like you, may, you, may flirt with the, you may flirt with the idea of another person more. I may say and that, that might be something, right? But if you like, I think because we are fair people, like that kind of keeps you in line, right? So it's like you don't cross the you don't cross it because like you don't want to hurt somebody else. But yeah, I mean, you like. Flirt, like that's strategic. Flirting is strategic. You get good discounts with flirting. Everybody wins when you do that. <laughs> Everyone wins. When you do that. I think it's also about perception too, though, because like if you are a person that a lot of people like to be around, like people love love. They love that love energy. You know, it looks like like I often have that question on the day. Like you seem like the type of girl that's got a whole bunch of suitors or something like that, and I'm just like, why I got to be all that? How come I just can't be like a nice looking female with her head on straight or sideways or whatever? But I'm just saying, why is the perception of that? You know, because you like it, you think a million people like it, I'm going to entertain all that. I have had to defend myself in conversations like that before. That's true. Go ahead, Teresa, let people know. And so the last thing we're going to talk about is self-pitying. Do you... Can you relate to being self-pitying? Like when something, when are you quick? Do you forgive yourself as quickly as you forgive other people, Libra? Uh, Teresa will uh, first this time before Brandy goes. No, I'm really hard on myself, actually. I'm an <laughs> okay. overachiever and I'm really hard on myself. So I think for me, I'll get there eventually, but I have to get over that. Like, I know I can do more. I'm so, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm always trying to achieve something like I'm super you know, always ambitious. So mm -hmm. a lot of times if I don't forgive myself, it's because I could have made that better. I could have done it. You know, it could have been so much better if I would have just, but other people I'm completely understanding. Okay. And Brandy. Yeah. Second that I'm totally like caught on myself. It's kind of out of control. And it's, it's a problem literally constantly in a practice of getting better and being intentional about that shift. But if just left to my own natural devices, I could go into a real like, dark hole when it comes to me like you say everybody else is like oh they're going through that process mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. yes, everybody's just working but when it comes to you you're like oh no i don't have space for this how is this possible why did i do this i can't believe it um but yeah but like you say you acknowledge it and then you practice life is all about the practice of like how do we evolve past what we you know what doesn't really work for us so i agree so hopefully <laughs> You know, we've learned a lot about Libras through the experience of these two beautiful Libra women. And we're going to tie this episode up. <laughs> Happy birthday, Brandy. Coming up. <laughs> Happy birthday, Teresa. That passed. And enjoy our enjoy a great mocktail. Yes. That's Teresa. Yes. And tell everyone, tell everyone about your show. Tell them real quick the name of it. On my show, uh, my show is called Objection to the Rule. It's on Radio Free Brooklyn. It is a news and social justice um, show. Each week we cover um, a local news story, a national and a world news story. And then we ended out with some good news. And I am the host and the music curator of the show. Sundays at one on Radio Free Brooklyn. Thank you. Yay. <laughs> Guys, Thanks for the plug. <laughs> Easy. <laughs>